Hello again, everybody. Uh, decided to take another quick little break from Castlevania, mostly just because I wasn't happy with the last episode. Wasn't really a lot going on in it, so to make sure that doesn't happen too often, I decided to come with something that, uh... Oh yeah, this is... What the fuck was that? Something that's gonna be pretty exciting and possibly end really bad. It's gonna be a quick one. But we've come back to Terraria. Some people have mentioned that they want to see me, um... Maybe try out a bit of a stronger character. I didn't use my endgame character. Because that would have been ridiculous. But I've been working really hard on this character. As you can see by some of the stuff I have. I'm basically a superhero now. Complete with rocket boot action. And I've beaten a couple bosses. But the main reason I wanted to do this video in particular. Is just to kind of show you what I'm up against in expert mode. I'm going to go ahead and summon and fight what's basically the second boss in the game after the King Slime. I would fight the King Slime, but he's kind of more of an issue. He's a nuisance to spawn. So we're going to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. If you've played Terraria, you're probably pretty familiar with him. It's a lot of the time, a lot of times it's the first boss people fight. In expert mode, though, I found that the bosses are made considerably more complicated. They don't just hit harder, they learn new tricks. So even with all of this power that I have, I have the most health that you can get pre-hard mode, and probably one of the best armor sets. Well... Oh, and I can use my laser gun infinitely because of this armor set. Bam. Space gun costs no mana. So even though I am a cosmic superhero, well, you'll see. And I am aware that like I didn't do anything like set an arena up, which I probably should have. But I just kind of want to show you what I'm what I'm having to deal with in expert mode. So maybe you can get a feel for why I skipped so long in it. Now so far his tactics aren't much different, but for me having meteor armor, these things really shouldn't be doing as much damage as they are. But, well, it's what we're dealing with. Probably like I said, this might not be a long episode. I'm probably just going to fight him and you can see what I got to deal with. This is where things change! Right about now. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. And I think the lower he gets on health, the more he does that shit. Ow! This is admittedly going better than the... Well, I might be screwed now. Oh, God. This is going better than the last time. But I shouldn't need the meteor armor and the space gun to fight this boss. And... Ugh. Oh, God. Oh god! <laughs> Shit! Whoo! Huh. Anyway, that's kind of the reason why I haven't exactly rushed through to be doing a bunch of expert mode play. Because I really wanted to fight the bosses. And there's a lot of cool stuff with this update I really have wanted to show you guys, like the yo-yos. This is actually the Crimson Yo-Yo. And the yo-yos in this game are, ow, pretty odd. Did you see that 44 damage that just got inflicted to me? That was by a zombie. Expert mode is what it says it is. It's really for expert players who want a lot of a challenge. Really, I, I almost advise you not doing this alone. 
or maybe purposely waiting until you have some people to play it with. Because... Oh, do I want damage or melee speed? Jagged sounds cooler, fuck it. Especially since I've been using the space gun a lot. But yeah, there's... It's a tricky... Tricky boss fight. And if you don't have, like, highly advanced gear like I have... Because this is, this is about as good as you're going to get before you progress the game into hard mode. So... Yeah. Game doesn't fuck around. I think that's all I'm going to do for right now. Again, it is a quicker video. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys why I'm not sure if I'm going to progress normally. Um, I could maybe go fight the Brain of Cthulhu again, but that one actually took me several tries. So I'm not positive if I will. If I can get somebody to play with, I definitely will give it a try, but... Despite this being new and improved, I'm having trouble finding people that want to play it. Which really doesn't surprise me. That happens all the time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I, I'll try to have some more stuff out soon. I might go back to Castlevania... This is more just so that I don't oversaturate the channel with just Castlevania stuff. Especially frustratingly difficult Castlevania stuff. So until next time, I uh, hope everybody's having a good summer. I hope you all had a good 4th of July. No, it's a couple days after. And I hope to see you guys again soon.